Okay, so we're going to look at the relativistic multiplier, and we want to do that by looking at the distances that the light travels for the observer, and the observer sees it like this, and for the person who is actually running the experiment on the ship, and they see it like this. Now, the time it takes for the light to get from here to here is going to be the same amount of time that it takes the ship to get from here to here. The x components of the velocities are the same. So let's draw in our vector for the ship. And there we have it. So this here represents the distance that the light travels according to the observer on Earth, and we know that velocity is equal to distance over time. And that means that distance is equal to velocity times time. So if we're looking at the distance the speed of light travels, we know that the speed of light travels for the observer at a speed c and a time t. That t is the time as it passes on Earth for the observer. And here is the speed of light times the time as it's seen by the observer on the ship. So this t naught is the time in the inertial ref reference frame. And this here is the velocity of the ship times the time as seen by the observer on Earth.